And we thank you for joining us on this Friday at 4. I'm Scott Reynolds. And I'm Hayden Ristevsky. Clarksville police say thieves stole copper from a vacant business. Officers arrested two suspects after a pursuit into Louisville. WDRB's Darby Bean details the tip that uncovered the crime. Darby? Scott Hayden, we are here off Lewis and Clark Parkway. That tip led officers to this area. A large part of the shopping center is vacant. We certainly have had copper thefts in the past, uh, but maybe not to this scale. Clarksville Police Detective Justice Kraft says the department was notified about a problem last week. We had numerous copper thefts in the uh, in the area, specifically in the Lewis and Clark area, at multiple businesses that are vacant. Copper is in everything. It's in all of our wiring. Um, it can be in HVAC units. Uh, all of those places have copper in them. Um, if you know where to look. Kraft says the theft happened at this vacant shopping center where Hobby Lobby and Harbor Freight used to be on Lewis and Clark Parkway. This property is owned by the town of Clarksville and the police department's patrol division set up a perimeter after finding what he says were suspicious items. Once they tried to stop those subjects in the in the vehicle that they were in, they decided to flee um, and the pursuit proceeded over into Louisville uh, where they crashed uh, and then fled on foot where our officers were able to catch them. According to Clarksville Police, 49-year-old Clinton Woosley and 37-year-old Jonathan Collins were both arrested this week facing burglary and other charges. Police say the amount of copper and wire stolen from local businesses left damage of more than $500,000. The investigation is still open, it's still ongoing, um, so this may be tied to some cases over in Louisville. Uh, we're not sure at this point yet. In Kentucky earlier this year, the Commonwealth's transportation cabinet said copper wire thieves have targeted highway lights in Louisville, impacting safety and costing taxpayers close to $1 million in repairs. Back in southern Indiana, Clarksville police hope arrests in these types of cases will help prevent crime in the future. This is a domino, right? So once the first domino falls, um, again, through our investigations, we should be able to make even more arrests. Kraft says if it's a business or even a home, the best protection is a security system like a security camera. Yeah, a lot of crimes like that happening, so many more arrests could take place. Thanks, Darby.